ex-husband backed out on his agreement, ended up costing him so much more in the long run. TLDR at the end I'm not sure if this belongs here or not, please let me know. My ex-husband and I had a great divorce. Even though he cheated on me after 12 years and two kids under four, I really wanted to do things differently than my parents did during their divorce. I never said anything negative about him, and tried very hard to defend him when the kids got upset with him. I extended invitations to the woman he left me for so she would not feel uncomfortable with me and we became friends. She was basically their stepmom, so why not include her on everything? On holidays, we all had one big dinner, he and her and me and my BF. This made everyone comfortable and the kids never had to choose one side or the other as we were all on the same page. It was such a great relationship that when I had back surgery, I recovered at his house and she cooked for me. He and I were coaches for the kids' basketball and baseball teams, and I helped at their wedding 13 years later. This was not easy for me, as he moved to another state to raise her children, leaving me to raise ours on my own. She quit her job when they got together and I had to return to work to support my kids. But I needed to keep the resentment and bitterness away from my kids. All of this sets the tone for the divorce, but when he initially left, I spoke to a lawyer and got a separation agreement that was really great, for me. He asked that I not take half of his retirement but instead he would pay X in child support and additional Y in alimony, because he was making a lot of money and I was a stay-at-home mom with a country club membership yuck. I hated saying that but it was only to set the scene. Normally alimony ends after five years, but because I didn't get half of the 401k, the only condition on ending it was it would end on my remarriage or my death, he agreed with all of it. The thing is, when he left me to move down to where she lived, he left his cushy job and took this promising, but not delivering, position that really screwed him financially. But, he never went back to the lawyer to get the child support or alimony reduced. Instead, he borrowed from his mother. When I discovered he was mooching off of her, I suggested to her that she stop paying for him when he finally got back on his feet. She never would do that and continued paying for his life and her to be a stay-at-home mom. Even CO signing for a second home for him when he finally moved back to raise his kids, hers had graduated and lived in his old house, ours were in HS. He did come to me and ask if I would accept regular child support and half of the alimony. Then later when he was really earning money he would pick back up on the past due amount. Not wanting to make waves in an otherwise great divorce, I said yes and kept track each month of what was owed in a shared spreadsheet with him so he could see how far in debt he was getting each month. He ended up owing me $1,00 slash month x 10 years, but he said when the kids aged out of child support, he would continue to pay the same amount to make up for the alimony which totaled $120,000. When my daughter aged out, he continued to pay the same amount, putting a small dent in what he owed for three years. Then, as soon as my son aged out, I mean two weeks after he joined the Marines, he called me and told me there was no way he was going to continue paying me for the next X years and I could take him to court if I wanted but there is no ducking way he would pay me another cent. This completely blew my mind as we had such a fantastic relationship and it came out of nowhere. I was completely freaked out, but I took his advice, I contacted an attorney, I sent all his calls to voicemail, per my attorney's advice and I took him to court. The best thing was, prior to the hearing, my attorney put a lien on both homes he had so he could not change ownership to his mom or wife prior to the court hearing. I still have the phone call recording when he realized this and the horrible names he called me for doing that. Since I had kept such immaculate records from that day he changed payments, and he was aware of his debt rising each month, it was a slam dunk for my attorney. Instead of making small payments for a few years, he had 30 days to pay me $120,000 in full. Unfortunately, the kids now have to choose which parent they visit on holidays, but that was not my fault. I was willing to continue as is and not put any strain on the family relationship. And for those who are wondering, yes, he did cheat on her two times before they got married, but she had quit her job when they got together because she found a sugar daddy and had nothing to fall back on slash nowhere to go, so she stayed with him. Since we were friends, she shared this info with me as I would understand what she was going through. TLDR
My ex-husband refused to make payments on back owed alimony, and told me if I wanted to get any further money, I should take him to court. That's exactly what I did. Instead of making small payments for the next few years to get caught up, he was ordered to pay the entire $120,000 in 30 days. Edit I got my money on day 29. No other payments will be made. Edit 2, I think the reason he went crazy on me was his mother refused to pay any more when my son aged out, but I explained that he owed a shit ton in back pay. That's when he said if you think I'm making payments to you forever, you're ducking nuts. She had been paying his child support for 10 years because he never went back to a great paying job, even though he could have. Yes, I went to work after separation and have a great career. But my income was still one-fourth of his when we were together because we moved every three years for his career. He wanted me to stay at home when the kids were born. Edit 3 It is obvious that people do not understand that as a stay-at-home mom, I could not contribute to my retirement fund because I didn't have earned income, meaning no social security, 401k or IRA. So, he maxed out his contributions so we could live comfortably in retirement. After 10 years of marriage, I was legally entitled to half of his retirement. Since he asked me not to take half of his retirement, he offered alimony instead, then he decided not to pay what he offered and leave me with less retirement funds than I would have had in either case, slim my OR half of his retirement. This is why it was important for me to get what was due, not to live a cushy life, but for my retirement. Thanks for the awards and for the nasty DMS. I'm okay with you calling me horrible names because you don't matter to me at all. Now to the comments. My friend used to have a restaurant with her husband. When they got divorced, she agreed that he would pay her half of the business in installments otherwise he would have to sell the business. He forgot multiple times to pay, always had excuses, until COVID hit and he really couldn't pay anymore as all restaurants had to close. She was very understanding and told him to pay later. A month after the restaurant was allowed to reopen, he went on a big holiday and posted pictures on Facebook. When she called him for her money, he claimed he couldn't afford it. So, she gave him a choice. Either you pay or sell the restaurant. If he forgets once, she will go to court to get the full amount immediately. He is now paying again and my friend will never give him a break again. Just like during their marriage he took advantage of her kindness but this time he is not getting away with it. Guess how good he is with paying child support. Guess how many times he wants to see his kids. Yeah, that kind of guy. Oh, I'm sure he wants to see his kids all the time. But you know how it is, it's just so difficult to find the time. After all, with the new girlfriend you don't want her to see you as a father or she might break up and it's important to have fun so you can't cut down on drinking with friends, and golf after work is a good networking opportunity, and Saturday certainly can't work because that's when the toilet gets cleaned, and then when you do have time, it's such a hassle to arrange, you know, making a phone call or email to set it up, then having to actually remember the date and time and show up, I'm sure you understand, the kids are absolutely so important to him, it's just life making it hard to see them. Oh yes, I completely understand, there is just not enough time, it's better not to disappoint them with the few hours per week. I mean, what can you do with only a few hours? They are much better off full time with mum and mum's boyfriend. Edit, I like your sarcasm. I've never understood people who think they can get out of court mandated payments slash agreements. Like, what goes through their head? Yeah. A judge said this had to happen, and I agreed, but now I'm going to change my mind, what could go wrong? People who have never heard the word no before and had it mean something. I meet adults like that all the time. It's shocking, really. But some people make it to adulthood without ever hearing someone say no and then stick to it. His mom paying for him was a pretty good hint. Dirtbags will always fall back to their default setting eventually. I was probably 14 or 15 when my neighbors got divorced because he cheated, which was old enough to recognize that she was the third wife, and if he cheated on the first two, 
you shouldn't be surprised when he cheats on you. My wife's grandma was married nine times, we know she cheated on some of them and probably all of them would be my guess, she was straight up crazy.